I'm going to do another resin tutorial. I'm going to do a resin tutorial for something that works now. So, this is a piston feed tape. Which you could probably tell because the feed is going around in circles. Um, I like piston feed tapes because, like, you can, um, technically program them. Like, let's say you can replace that with that, and then it just keeps going around. No big deal. Then you can also do this. And it keeps going around. Still no big deal. These can be like, which you can, um, you can detect these if you, um, like, find a way to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make one of any size, of oh, any size, from like, this small, small as I could find out, find, make it to like, really big. Let's get started. Let's start with the feed. It's con so it's composed of something like this. If you do this, it's just gonna break. So you must have at least one hole, and make sure it must be on a corner. This can be a maximum minimum of I think this, but I don't know how to put all the piston action. Piston action might be bigger for that, maybe? Actually, no. It will still say the size. But, yeah. So, what a piston feed tape does initially is it uses four pistons on each side, like this. Now, I'm going to model, model the circuit. So first, it will do this, then it will do this, then it will do this, then it will do this, and so on and so forth. This, same thing, only on the corners. So I'm going to show you how to make a 4x4 four four piston feet tape. And this is like the only one I know how to program. Well, make it programmable, basically. Why do I say so? Okay, I say ba I think I say basically too much. So you put the four pistons right here. There is a minimum, a maximum limit. I think it's 12 blocks. It's the piston push limit. Then, you build one block at the end of it. Of each piston, and then you put put some repeaters, and if you want it so that it is controllable, it's you need to um get a sticky piston. Which I don't have a time, so I have to grab one of this and put put it at one of the blocks. So when this turns off, um, you know it stops the circuit, and then well, first I'll need to show you how show show you. Well, you need to put this in, this in, this, this in. Oh, make sure the repeaters are at 4 ticks. I forgot to do that. You can make it less ticks. It makes the thing faster. Also, But also, it makes it more likely to fail. Like, the piston will go at the wrong time, and the piston won't press because it's already blocked by now. So, um, 
I'm gonna put the program lead a different place. Like here. Now if you if you put a programming lead right there, you need to alter the circuitry a tiny bit. You put it there, and then you put this, um, this, this, and this goes up here. <coughs> then you then you need to remember to to put the um all these in which is the better way to do that and do here as you can see it's not on however if it finds a solid block it will turn on if it finds a non-solid block like a slab glass i think glowstone then this will not be powered so you can like adjust the feed I once saw this in the clock. Each thing was one of the segments. Well, it was like, they were like right next to each other. So, yeah. This will go fire, then this will fire. Okay, I think everything's ready. Now we need the system that will turn it on if you have turned it off. Which is as easy as this. Then you add a thing there and a resin torch there. Wait, no. Oops, made a mistake. Yeah, so, so all you need is this, and yeah, turn it on, and it starts. You might have missed a block by accident, but don't worry, you just need to place it when what, when, where there's an idle position, like that, and there. There you go. And for the programming thing, I just told you about when this gets onto this repeater which should happen very soon I'm very, very patient for this it will turn on see then then you could have like most you could have multiple things from in the next video I'm gonna try to refrain from using the word like too much I oh I think I'm overusing it. So yeah, you can like I think I made like a very complicated clock. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I think this is better than the video about communications. See you!